Hey guys, we're back with some more Corpse Party. Hope you're doing well today. We now have the doll and we're going to head back towards the custodian's closet thing to see if we can uh, figure out what to do. I'm pretty sure the custodian's office is actually up that way, but I th considering the doll was crying down here, I think this is what we need to do. So we're going to head down this way and see what happens. Ba -ba -ba, not going to bother saving that. Didn't like that little sound effect there. Made me think the floor was going to fucking collapse. Shut up, doll. Weep, weep. <laughs> yes, up, please. From Red Door, six steps, horse, 13 paces, rooster. That's, um. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna head up to the door anyway and see what happens. Ghost that gave us tutorial tips. Thank you again. Really appreciate it. Uh, bye. I don't like the dark, the red, the dark ghost, the red ghost, the the creepy. Um. Mm. And we can hear static inside. Surely this is where we're meant to go. Oh. Uh, the, <laughs> So, something about roosters? Do we just like... Okay. Good for you. I'm just gonna like... I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Do you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. What did the doll say again? I've already forgotten. This could be a serious problem. I'm just pressing... It's got to be around the door. It said something about horses and roosters. I don't know what it said. Okay. So we got this bit here. Why does it say that weird shit over here? There's this bit here too. Oh my god. I thought it'd be around the... I was literally just pressing use on everything. And there's something here. One of the floorboards here is slightly raised. Peering through the crack, you can just barely make out some sort of bag in the dark recesses below. Try to pull it out? Yeah. Okay. With a bit of fidgeting, you're able to remove the item from its compartment. It's a small bag made of hemp and stained liberally with blood. There's a name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School, Ryo Yoshizawa. What's going to be inside? I wonder. Here, have a look. No way, I'm not touching that thing. You look. <clears throat> oh, I have a bad feeling about this. What? What is it? What's in the bag? See for yourself. An eye or something? Eek. The bag contains a severed human tongue. Lovely. Weep, weep. Return it. Return it. Okay, we're going to give it a ghost in the infirmary. I hope it doesn't kill me. I really fucking hope it doesn't kill me, but it's probably going to kill me. Oh, shit, I should have read that. It must be the ghost of the little boy. Gasp, pant. That's pretty gross. Shinazaki. She's freaking out. It's okay. What do we do with it? Oh, it's so nasty. We give it back to its rightful owner. Huh? You out of your mind? Yeah, we do. Okay, Ryo's tongue. Well, Creepy Girl did say that we have to give him back, even though I don't trust her at all, and I think she's got some ulterior motive for us doing this. Let's go and give it back to the kid, I guess. I still want to get killed in the process by the fucking custodian or some shit. Undreading coming against him, like, properly. <clears throat> we have to quell his wanton behaviour. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, yeah, this is the right way. 
I'm learning the school's layout pretty well now, at least. Okay, can we save first before... Yes, we can. Okay. So before we uh, risk our lives giving the ghost its tongue back, let's uh, save our game. <coughs> yes. Sorry, I'm zoning out today, guys. I'm pretty tired. Uh... Crap, he's looking right at me. Oh, that's bad. Oh. Ryo Shiyoshizawa. Huh? That's right, I know your name. Show him the tongue. Yes. I feel bad for what happened to you, but I can't sympathize with what you're doing. Hurting strangers because of your own despair, pulling them into this horrible place like this killing them. You killed our dear friend. I could never forgive you for that. Shinazaki. But this is yours. It's part of your body, so I'm going to give it back to you. Hand it over Ryu's tongue. My hum. My tongue. Thank you, miss. Oh shit. Oh shit. What? What's going on? Ah! What is going on? Hello? Hello? Oh fuck, we're going back to him now. Damn it, another earthquake? You've got to be kidding me. Is the wall going to open? Say. I won't get anywhere by wallowing in self pity here. Yuko, I swear I'll protect you. Please wait for me. First things first, though, I need to check on Naomi. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, you. Wait. What the fuck? Where's she gone? Where did she go? Am I meant to? It's probably a bad idea following, but fuck it. <sighs> I have no idea where I'm going to be going. The ghost definitely went this way. Maybe something's changed now we took the tongue around here. Oh, that is new. This bit is new. Someone's cell phone's lying on the ground. Pick it up. Yeah. Hmm. Acquired psycho cell phone. Oh, Psychos! This is Shinohara's, isn't it? Psycho seemed to have been in the middle of a texting someone when she dropped her phone. The text entry window is still open. While confirming the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up inadvertently reading the whole thing. Shinohara. I'm sorry, Shinohara. I really didn't mean to. I don't think Naomi should see this. Not now, at any rate. I wonder what it said. Did... Hmm, I'm very interested. I hope we find out. I hope that isn't just some sort of vague thing. Pretty sure Psycho liked Naomi a little bit, you know? In that way, sort of thing, you know? <clears throat> okay, anyway, let's uh, go and check on uh, Naomi. Naomi! Don't be dead, please! Why? Naomi! Satoshi, please don't leave me alone in here like that. Sorry, I was looking for Yuka. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Did you find her? No, the corridor that leads to where I last saw her went back being up to being a wall. I can't find any way of getting to the other building anymore. Other building? There's a whole other building? Yeah. Looks like the school Yuka, Murashigi and I were in is different from this one. We need to find somewhere travelling from one space to another. That would be ideal, yeah. Wait a minute, why are you standing out here instead of waiting inside the infirmary? I was attacked in there earlier by some kind of black shadowy mist. So I was a little scared to be in there, afraid it might attack me again. Um, that makes sense. You serious? I'm really sorry about that then. Okay. 
You s Don't worry about it. But there's something in there for sure. I think we should keep our distance. No objections here. I'm really strongly in favour of not going there. But maybe we have to? I don't know. There was a save point and there wasn't a shit. And we haven't had to save for ages. Oh well. I guess I'll just keep going and worry about the consequences later. Now we can get the jumping item, I just realised. There was one that was teleporting uh, in this room over here, yeah? Like the entire basis of every puzzle in this game seems to be based around this. Okay, so. Okay. Do we have to really have to look at it twice to get the cutscene trigger to go, oh, I split up and you wait here? Because that's kind of silly. It's like here. Well, let's change. Wait here for a sec. Yep. Okay. Be right back. Then Dynami. And that should hopefully get us the item. Because she'll pick it up. Or I can pick it up. Nope. Naomi, now grab it. Okay, got it. What do we get? Oh. Oh! Oh. Now that's really, really good. That is really, really good, right? I'm sorry, guys. I keep zoning out and skipping dialogue today. I'm really out of it. In fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out what we needed to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before with Psycho. Did you? Same here, but with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah. So they're talking about teleporting items. I'm really sorry I'm zoning out so much. It's like really, really bad. Right. We go around here. I guess we can open this now? I guess? Okay! This is creepy as fuck. Who turned out the lights? What? What's going on? Why is it so cold? Oh, somebody really- something really smells. This is really bad. And it's pitch black in here. Can you find a light switch anywhere? Oh god. I'll try. Uh-huh. Uh... Please? Found it! Please don't kill us! Phew! Thanks! Okay. Man, it does stink in here. And it's not just mold, is it? Oh god, we've been waiting to get into this room the whole time. Okay. It's all good. It's all... It's all... It's all good. Probably not. Huh, that's odd. What is? Oh, uh, nothing. It's like deja vu. I could have swear I've seen this room before. Has she? I don't recall. There's a video 8 camcorder lying on top of the TV. Its cassette deck is empty. Its batteries also seem to have run out, however, as the LCD display isn't turning on. Shit. What is something like this recent doing in a place like this old? Maybe it belongs to someone who brought here like us? Yeah, that does make sense. Unfortunately, there's no code... Cord I can't talk! Oh my god! There's no cord here to hook it up to the TV and it's out of battery, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get much use out of it. What the fuck? Was that? There's a magazine article here from a publication called Strange But True, Stories of the Occult. It's a follow-up to a previous report. Read it. <laughs> Chasing Down the Hidden Past of the school Cursed School by Ku Kibiki. Let's talk a bit more about the beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal. So this is the custodian guy. The man was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could and performed his duties with peerless panache. But then the illness struck. And little by little, his winning personality gave way to pure instinct. He was slowly losing all sense of identity. Although the cause of this illness was unknown, its effects were anything but. Simply put, the good teacher began reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long-forgotten festival, perhaps given to him by his late mother. His behaviour during class degraded quickly. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the period's end, and he began wailing mournfully. 
Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, Yoshikazu reached the point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Though he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Given all the evidence mounted against him, Yoshikazu Yamigori was arrested on multiple accounts of kidnapping, murder and desecration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, nor even properly discuss them with authorities. Okay. Everything hangs on the testimony of the sole survivor, one Sachiko Shinazaki. I told you it was Sachiko, the fucking forever after charm girl. Age seven. In search of the truth behind the less scientific afflictions this incident spurned, I of course chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. I wonder if she is the one that killed them all and not him. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying the story may remember Sachiko best as the girl with the strikingly unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so young forced to watch other children her age being tortured and killed, one by one. And certainly, if I were to find Miss Shinazaki and secure an interview, there would be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's both been a fully grown and hopefully well-adjusted adult for over 10 years at this point. By now, she'll be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectivity and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. Oh god, what's going on? Changing characters again? Calm down, Ayumi, please. I'm impressed, Shinazaki. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, in fact. I was scared out of my mind. My brain is still struggling to make sense of all this. Okay, but look. The ghost is gone. I guess we really managed to appease it. Uh, are you alright? You should probably dry your tears and blow your nose, at least. And clean the blood off your skirt. What the hell? Not on my shirt. Didn't I tell you before that you shouldn't say things like that? What are you, two? That's really gross. Not good. She's not normally like this, Shinazaki. Okay. This is a bit weird. Okay, let's go and save our game, seeing as we haven't saved for fucking ages now. Well, I say fucking ages, like 20 minutes, which in modern day segment game terms is quite a long time. There we go, we're an hour into this chapter now. So where should I go now? Uh, I guess we have to listen to the doll and find other locations where it's going to freak out, probably, and guide us to new people. Okay. I have no idea where to go. I mean, go back to the entrance, I guess. Oh, let's go down. Let's go down this way past all the shoes, yeah. Anything in here? Yes? Yes! Fuck yes. Okay, so they're putting everything to rest at the moment. That's the plan, at least. Go to where the floor collapsed, but then got better. Okay, well, I know where that is. It's on the stairway on the way up, I think. One step rooster, ten paces rat. Hmm. Okay. I'm not really sure. I still don't get that pacing. I'm just going to spam and hope for the best again. But it should be this one down here, right? This should be it. So the floor here has been clear collapsed previously, yeah, I said. But it, it what? Does it mean here or does it mean any somewhere else? Was there somewhere else this happened? Uh, I don't know. Maybe one of the ones up here? I don't know. Oh, we're going to have a look. Does it mean this one? Yes! One of the floorboards here is slightly raised. Peering through the crack, you can just barely make out something shiny in the dark recesses below. Try to put it out? Yeah. What is it? From beneath the floorboards, you manage to fish out a crank-like key that resembles the one from an old-fashioned pocket watch. The heck is this? Doesn't look like it would fit the do any door I know. 
Quad Winder. I've no idea what that's for. Can we check out the doll's bum? I don't know. Um, up here, maybe? I'm going to try it on this. It's worth a shot. What? I don't even know what that is. The one you... Oh my god, it does. Fits perfectly in the keyhole at the base of the lever. Use it? Yeah. It did indeed slip into the device without any trouble, but nothing happened? Oh, come on. The lever is still struck, but it seems to be a bit more give than it did before. There's a space for it to go down one more notch. Try forcing it. Yeah. Whatever. Gra! Oh, okay, that's awesome. We got a new route. A new pathway has opened up. Okay, cool. This is going pretty well. We're making some real progress in this installment of the corpse parties. Don't know what's going to happen next. I'm sure some horrible shit's going to happen before the end of the game. We've only got one more act left after this one. Certainly a longer act, I think. <laughs> Okay, let's go. I don't like this. Well, get a light of this place. It's got showers and everything. I don't like this room at all. Let's leave now. Go. Let's leave. It hurts. Make it stop. Oh god, my head. She's getting possessed again. This is Oh. Blood? Shinazaki! Are you alright? Did you feel something again? Uh huh. Oh shit. Another nosebleed. If it's just her nose, it's fine, but if a blood vessel bursts in her brain or something. Here, Shinazaki, slap some tissues up your nose to stop the bleeding. Thanks. I have some of my own, but since you got your got yours out already. Yeah, go ahead. Did the ghost get to her? No, she's been a little off since before that. I think she probably reached the limit. She needs the rest. What the fuck was that? What's in the bucket? Underwear. Lovely. Dish rags. There's another door over there that I don't really want to go through. My men will be going back. I don't. I don't know. Holy shit! Searching so outside faucet or pump. The entire surface is covered in moss that seems to absorb some of the water, puffing it up with a thick, blackish green coat of ultra shiny slime. No running by the pool. A pool, huh? Can't even see the side of it with all the rain. All right, here goes. Shinazaki, this clearly isn't working. Why don't I take the doll for a bit? You catch your death of cold out here. Go back inside. I can handle the search. You just wait for me in the locker room. And what's going to happen if a ghost shows up again, huh? You think you're able to handle it? Don't worry about me. If anything happens, I'll call you. And you can come to my rescue. All right, just don't do anything stupid. Thank you. You say something? I've got to try and lighten her load as much as possible. I don't think she can handle much more of this. <sighs> well, it is a fairly like stressful situation, you know. Um, anything else around here? There's a note over there or nothing. There's a sign on the door that says pump room. The door is locked. Okay. Looks like there's a key lodged in the crack between the two tiles. Try and dig it out. 
I guess so. Okay. Pump for him, huh? I've had enough. Yep, yeah, bad. Huh? What's that? No, there's no way. Come on, give me a break here. What do I have to do? Seems like someone thinks something fell in. Shinazaki is still in the locker room, right? Go to the locker room, go to the locker room, go to the locker room. She's gonna drown. I can't remember what the fucking thing was either. Shinazaki? Oh, it's not still cutting down. She's drowning. Damn it, she's not here. I guess that really was her then. What the hell is she thinking? Oh shit, we gotta find her in the pool. We gotta find her in the pool. What's wrong with me? What am I doing? I should never take my eyes off her. Uh, I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna skip the dialogue. Um, gotta get in the pool. Gotta get in the pool. Gotta get in the pool. Hey Shinazaki. It was like over here somewhere. Pretty sure that's where the waves come from. It is? Oh shit, it was somewhere around here. It's. Oh, I did it! I did it! Holy shit, I did it! <laughs> that was pure luck! That was pure luck! Shinazaki! Shinazaki! Gonna leave, she's still got a pulse. <laughs> Come on, breathe already, damn it! Oh, she's alive. Hack. Splutter. Cough, cough, cough. Gasp, cough. Cough, cough. Wheeze. <sighs> Deep sigh. God, don't worry me like that. You back with me now? So tell me, where the hell do you jump into the pool? You caught me out there, didn't you? What? I heard your voice, I ran outside and after that I don't remember much else. The next thing I knew my vision was all this sickening green colour and my mouth was full of water. God damn it, was that the work of those ghosts again? Can't believe they can trick us so easily. There's got to be something in that pool. Oh. Uh, there's something stuck in my tooth. Oh god, it's like algae or something. Oh, lovely. I wonder if the showers, the showers still work. I would not use them. Blood? That one's even got... A, that one's completely fucking broken! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I can't get rid of this horrible taste and I smell absolutely putrid. I hate this. At least you're alive, Jesus. Wow! It's not a good time to cry, please. She did nearly drown, I guess. Wine, sob. How does she think I feel? Shit is lucky. How about we go out into the rain and wash ourselves off a little? Though I don't know how much help rainwater will be for getting that taste out your mouth. Okay. Alright then. Let's go. Okay. After this, I guess we'll need to figure out how to dry our clothes. Oh, we're still outside. Hang on. Feeling better? Yeah, surprisingly, I was able to rinse out my mouth pretty thoroughly. Were you? That's good. So, Shinazaki, while I was out there, I came across a room in the back that I'd kind of like to check out. I'll go with you. That's probably for the best. Alright, let's do it. Okay, guys, that's where I'm going to end this installment of Corpse Party. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, a favourite, a comment. Let me know what you thought of the series so far in the comment section, like I said before. And I'll see you in the next installment. Bye for now, Manx Things. See you really fucking soon. Bye for now.